I'm going to show you an easy way to stop group policies being applied to specific users and computers. So to start, if we open up our group policy management, I've got a group policy object which locks down a few settings and it's applied to my workstations OU. So if I come over to my Windows workstation and then try and open either the settings, we can see that it doesn't open because I've got a group policy that blocks it and that same group policy is also blocking access to the control panel. So if we come back to our group policy and then find our group policy object, we can come over to the delegation tab and then what we can do is we can deny access to specific users and computers. Now the way I prefer to do this is if we open up our Active Directory and then create a security group, we can then deny access to the security group and then we'll also deny access to any users or computers within that group. So if I drill down in my Active Directory and then come to my security groups folder, I'll create a new security group and I will call this deny GPO workstation security and then OK. And then within here, under the members tab, I will add any users that I don't want this group policy to be applied to. And I will also add any computer objects if it's a computer configuration GPO. So I will just add a PC. And now what we'll do is we will apply this security group and block it access to the GPO. So in group policy, we will select our GPO and then delegation. And at the bottom right, we will select advanced. And then we can press add and now search for our GPO. So deny GPO, select our workstation security and then OK. Now under the permissions, we want to leave read as allow. But if we scroll down, there's an apply group policy permission and we'll do select deny. So what that will do is that will deny the group policy to any user or computer that is within the security group. So when we press apply, there'll be a warning to say that the deny entry takes precedence and that if a user or a computer is a member of two groups, one that allows the group policy and one that denies it, the deny will take precedence. So we will confirm that warning and then press OK. So now we have got our custom permissions, which will deny access to the GPO to any user or computer within this security group. So if I come back to my PC and then give it a GP update, just to force it through, in a production environment, you would just leave this and let it do it normally. So now the GPO is updated, I'll log off and then log back on. So if I log back on with the same user account, and then when that's logged in, I will then try and open up the control panel again, which now it lets me. And if I try and open the settings, that lets me as well. So just to show this, if I come back to the command prompt and then run GP result dash R, we can see that the lockdown settings is being applied, but the filtering has denied this to be actually run. So it's still getting applied to the system it is just being blocked so any policies within it are not being applied. So that's how you can create a security group and then stop group policies being applied to any user or computer within that security group.